Hey folks, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living. I am sitting up here in my new future bedroom. <laughs> this is our loft upstairs, and I want to tell you today about how we finally got our project done. So not only did we have to go back and put in the, the beams for the, um, for the loft, we also had to do all the flooring. So got the flooring done this past weekend and kind of show you some of our ingenuity that we had to use because when we don't have a crew and you don't have that big heavy lifting equipment anymore, you have to get creative as far as putting your beams into place. So hope you enjoy. Initially, we had to go back and put the beams into place. While dad was here and we had the heavy equipment, we weren't able to get all of the beams for the loft in place. So Brian is here using his famous ratchet and come along Neither. to do some heavy lifting ladder and be able to help place those into oh, place. It's a little trickier it. when you're on a ladder That's instead good. of a man lift. But, you know, with a little bit of creative thinking, moving ladders around, we were definitely able to put the beams in place. The only problem was that I had to do all the staining and the urethane after the, they were put in, into place. So I had to do those on the ladder after the fact. But you'll see kind of a little bit of, uh, we had a little bit of some tricky spots here while Brian was trying to um, get him into place. It's just a lot of adjusting. You have to lift up on one end and lift up on the other and try to make both ends go in at the same time. So it's definitely tricky when you've got one center point for balance there, as you see with the strap. There you go. Boom. Interestingly, we were one beam short. So Brian had to order a beam separately, and so here he's doing the planing and putting them in the, the mortises and everything to get it ready to hang. But there was still a little bit of beam work. We thought we were done with it, but. Anyway, here we are getting into position, the last longer beam on the floor for the loft. And we've got the come along and the ratchet going, and I'm just on the end of the ladder helping to keep the balance because of where the position is of where the cable's hanging. It wasn't exactly in the center, so I'm just kind of helping it offset the weight so it doesn't swing around a lot. Our objective here is to get the beam perfectly level so that it slides into place on a level plane because if you've got one end even an inch up, it's not going to slide in at all. So that's what we're trying to accomplish, is trying to get this done in a level position. I mean, if I was sitting on the beam and yeah. hold it, it would be like that. Above the ladder. realized we were in a bad position. Um, I couldn't really support the beam with one arm and have the other hand holding onto the ladder. So we decide to just rest the beam on top for now and then move the ladders around so that we can get a better uh, position or angle in order to um, drop the beam, beam in from above. So we move the ladders over and then um, Brian's gonna hook around a, another strap so that I can actually hold onto the strap instead of the beam and be able to release it that way. That way I can hold onto the strap with two hands, each hand on one end of the strap, and have a better grip overall. And now he's passing me the ax maul in order to have a hemp the implement so I can try doing some of the banging on the beam to try to tap it down into place and it definitely uh, is enough heft there to do the job. So this is the flooring for our loft. It's inch and a half tongue and groove pine. One board up. So Brian's gonna take this board and kinda 
skim across the beams to find out where the high spots are, low spots are, so he can plane all of the beams. So that How many nails are you putting on the each beam? Uh, I'm gonna put two on each beam. Looks like the first two boards are done for our floor. Just yeah. 37 to go. Ooh, look at this. Halfway done. Ran out of nails. <laughs> the Ace Hardware, which is 10 minutes down the road, ran, I bought all their nails yesterday. They only had two boxes. Yeah. So, so I had to go all the way to Boulder, which is an hour drive, but there and back, or each way by the time you get there. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that'll be a good job done for the weekend, finishing the loft area, and then we're on to... Uh, and we can start doing some electrical and... Yep. Yeah. Got a lot of electrical supplies right here. And it's going into pretty well. Yeah. Your strategy is putting the beveled edge facing downward on the ceiling so it doesn't collect a bunch of dust and dirt if it was to be the floor instead of the ceiling. So the... So it, we'll need to sand it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just because it's has got dirt on it. And then there's a uh, brand from the mill on it. Oh. It's stuck right there. See? Your name brand is yeah. stamped on. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That would be your big job. Uh-huh. Sand it all down. Just doesn't have to be super smooth. Just take any sharp things off. And... Yeah. Cool. So I drill a pilot hole just on the end ones because it's so close to the edge I don't want to split it out. A uh, concrete spike is a great nail set. And then the rest of them I can, and I got my uh, straps to pull it tight. Right. And yesterday I planed all the high spots. So it really didn't take that long, maybe a couple hours to get those. See like this spot here where it's cracked along, it was it was high right there. Mm -hmm. So it was good to knock it off. So that's how you nail down your tongue and groove without throwing nails into the top of all your boards and ruining the finish. Finished nailers, but I don't have anything that's going to take a three inch nail. Now, when we do our floors for down there, we can. Dave has a, a three quarter inch flooring nailer. Okay. And so you put big staples in it, mm -hmm. and it's uh, you just whack it with a hammer. And you just put it on it, it lines up perfectly with the groove, and then you just whack it. Puts a stick. You can't put too much tension on it because it'll flop it right up. Mm Definitely fun now to walk in to the house and like look up and see a ceiling 
and just it's fun. I like the contrast of the darker beams and the lighter wood. I'm not sure if we'll keep it that way, but I think it looks that it looks nice from below. So it's it's yeah, there's just a few boards left here, and it's kind of nice to see a project like come to completion on the inside of the house. Everything's been outside of the house focused for so long. And even though I still have to take a ladder to get up here, it does feel like we have an entire new room, you know, to have an upstairs area. And it's a lot bigger than what I imagined, you know. There's still plenty of room up to the ceiling. I don't have to duck, even though there's this beam across the window that we'll probably get rid of at some point, at least the, part, the piece that's right in front of the window. But definitely roomy feeling, definitely does not feel cramped, even though it's just a loft. So it's definitely exciting to feel that new room finish, a completed floor, and to know that uh, your bedroom is almost ready. <laughs> And this is how the floor is looking in the loft now that we're wrapped up the project. So we've got an instant ceiling below, nice beveled white pine. And Folks, well, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, sneak peek of the loft area. It's going to look really nice once the flooring is done with the, the stain and the polyurethane, but we're going to wait on that. But I just want to show you how we got it put together. But it's kind of fun to have it upstairs, and there is a little bit of a view. We're sitting know. down to, to see the mountain outline. Otherwise, when you're standing up, you kind of mostly just get trees. But it's kind of a, it's kind of a nice to imagine waking up to this uh, in the morning time. So. Looking forward to seeing the rest of it come together. It's just nice to have a, at least one floor done in the house. <laughs> we'll be doing, working on the railings as well and the staircase eventually as well. For, absolutely, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Give us a thumbs up if you liked our progress. Uh, make any comments that you'd like. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer them. Take care.